What's up, world? This is Brian coming at you. Um, how to start a business. So um, before I begin that, let me just introduce where I'm at. If you just uh, if you've watched my video on um, what you've learned from COVID-19, you'll see that I'm in the same place. <laughs> I'm doing a video binge here, uh, but I'm in beautiful downtown Long Beach, my favorite place in the world. Um, that's the Maya Hotel behind me. We have the Rainbow Harbor Bridge, and we have downtown Long Beach. This place is just bomb. Long Beach is amazing, extremely accessible, uh, fairly affordable um, in relative to the entirety of California. But I know that's not why you came here. You came here to learn about starting a business and what that's about. So a little bit of background on me. Um, I'm 38 years old. I have a business, and it is called We Break Hip Hop Dance Company. I started it in 2011. We are a mobile hip hop dance company. So we specialize in teaching breaking to the youth all the way from preschool and up to about 12 years old. And then we teach beyond that as well on a more of a one-on-one -on -one basis. But anyway, I've had a business, a fairly successful business for the past nine years. I started in August, 2011. And um, before I did that, I was a computer programmer. I got my degree in computer science from Cal State Long Beach. Uh, I love, I, well, I used to love programming. <laughs> um, I got into it because I played a lot of video games growing up, like a lot. And I wanted to be a video game programmer. I didn't, I wasn't an artist. So my only other option to get into that field was, was programming. And I was fairly good at math. And so um, I got a degree in computer science. Uh, I worked in that field, not video games, unfortunately. I didn't get there. That's like the cream of the crop. And I just... That's a whole nother story of why I didn't get there. But um, I did get into web development and I wasn't passionate at all. They paid me a lot of money to do it. And honestly, one thing I learned about corporate America after I graduated was that when you get paid a lot, they expect a lot. <laughs> and me, I was just trying to clock in, clock out and be done with you know work, get back to my family. Uh, I was newly married in 2009 and that the companies I worked with were not happy with that attitude. So I went through a lot of different job losses. I got fired, um, which was uh, very devastating because I was the bread. I'm the and still am the breadwinner for my family. My wife doesn't work. And so that was very difficult to go through. Um, I read a book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And when I read that in 2011, I was like, this is what I want to do in my life. I wasn't even for sure what it was, but I was, I knew I wanted to be my own boss. I knew that I wanted to build something that would be able to support me and my family and for finances not to be an issue um, ever again. So uh, I started to dabble in some business, you know, things, and I landed in a spot where I am now. Uh, which there's a whole video on how that happened. Uh, but now I have a company and uh, I'm very excited working in it and doing it. I've been doing it full time for four years now. Um, and I'm not in a spot where I don't have to worry about money. I haven't made it <laughs> to that part. I still have to worry about it. But I do make a living off of doing it. Uh, I support my, my wife and two kids. And, you know, I love what I do. I have a great team. I have uh, four, no, five employees right now, uh, which will probably be about seven or eight by the end of the year. But uh, I love what I do. And I feel like I've achieved my dream in a sense of supporting me and my family doing something I really enjoy time freedom, all of that stuff. So uh, starting a business is, is, is crazy. It's a crazy journey. I think uh, Robert Kiyosaki and Rich Dad Poor Dad said it best when he said starting a business from scratch, at least is like jumping out of an airplane and put in a parachute together before you hit the ground. <laughs> and that's what it's like. So um, a couple of things that helped me to start, I think um, getting, number one is getting as much as, of advice as possible. I talk to a lot of people. And uh, I mean, from my mother-in-law, <laughs> she gave me a piece of advice to help me. Uh, and she's not a business owner herself, but she gave me some advice. Uh, I had a business consultant that I paid like $100 an hour to. I invested in that. They gave me a lot of advice. Just anybody I came across ahead of business, I would ask them. And I feel like uh, for me, a lot of people, I do meet people that want to start businesses, that want to be in that, you know, in this position. Uh, but they don't seem to ask 
for a lot of advice. And that's, that's very interesting to me. But I asked any and everybody. It, it didn't matter whether they had a business or not. But if they had something to say, I was all ears. Uh, so that's a, a, a big one. Uh, asking as much of advice. The second one is having a why. Uh, that's really, really important. Um, it, that's important in everything in life. A why. That's really going to drive you. For me, I really wanted to support my family. That that was really big for me. So that motivated me and it still motivates me to this day. Like I said, my wife doesn't work. And so I am the breadwinner. So that was a big kind of support, a, a big thing for me. There was no fallback plan. There was no plan B. Uh, this had to work. In the career I was in, like I said, I was losing a lot of jobs. And that was just not going to sustain me and my family. So I really needed this to be successful and for it to work. And so that was a big, a big why. I'm kind of in a place now where, where I have to redefine that for myself. And that's a whole nother, whole nother video. But uh, defining a why for you is, is really, really big. You know, think about why you want to do it, what's driving you. You have to have a big why, a big why, you know, to drive you uh, to start this thing and to really focus on that why, you know, like why are you, are you doing it? What do you really want out of it? and uh and really let that drive you um a couple other things as far as getting you know llc you know s corp the legal part i think um i'm not saying that stuff is easy it's, it's hard in the beginning but that's those are things you can just kind of go out and do i would definitely advise anybody you know set your business up in a way um that makes sense uh, but the third thing is going to be um I'm sorry, I lost my my train of thought. I'm not going to edit this out. This is just raw. Um, oh, money, money. So make sure you come up with an idea that makes money, right? So a lot of people have ideas, like really great ideas, but you have to come up with a way that you can monetize your idea. And that, a lot of that comes from getting advice from other people, studying, reading. But your idea needs to make money. If you have a business and you don't make money you file your taxes and say hey i only made you know a couple hundred bucks or you know maybe a thousand or i lost money the government will consider that a hobby <laughs> so that's that's a hobby if, if business you need to make money so think about how can you what's something even today that you can do and this is a thought i had when i started what's something today that i can do literally to make even if it just makes ten dollars that i can do so I was like, I can start a breakdance class because I had done that in after school at an after school program in Long Beach before. And so I was like, I'll start it. And I started with one student. And uh, now we have like, you know, we teach thousands of students a year. But um, I, st I was like, what can what's the one thing I can do? And ask yourself that what's one thing you can do, even if it's simple, mundane, silly that you can literally do today that can make money. There's so many ways to make money online businesses, you know, uh, making videos. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things, but what's something you can do to make money. And that's very important. Um, if money is not a driving factor for you making money, maybe it's not a business you want to start. Maybe it's something else. Um, some charitable organization or something like that, which is totally awesome, you know, to do. If you're trying to start a business to make money, come up with an idea that learn how to make money even if it's my son was talking about open a lemonade stand right like something is going to help you to really start those gears gears turning into into how to uh make money so uh that's a big one just learning how to as they say make a dollar out of 15 cents that's really big um I'm trying to think uh, there's other things. Of course, like I said, the legal thing, I kind of just touched on that a little bit. Um, mm, yeah, I think I'm probably going to save that for a different video. But uh, some other things as far as things I would have done differently. Uh, now that I am a business owner, I, I took the way where I started from scratch. Again, I got a lot of advice, but it was piecemealing a lot of different things together. So that's one way that you can go about it is piecemealing a lot of different um, pieces of advice and putting them together. If I started from scratch, I just knowing what I know now, I mean, it would have been easy to just 
oh, okay, I'm just going to do this, do this, do this, right? The fourth thing, there really are four things, even though I've been talking a lot. There's four things. I'm just kind of doing this off the dome. I didn't, I didn't write notes because I needed to make a video. But the fourth thing is um, take risk. Don't be afraid to take risk. And that's, that, is, uh, that is talked about very loosely. For me, I put up, uh, I met my business consultant, uh, who's an amazing, amazing person. Um, but I, I took a risk. I asked her for some advice and most of this advice up to the point when I, when I first was just had these ideas and just thinking about it, I, people just, you know, I asked people stuff. They told me, I asked this particular person something. They said, Oh, okay. I can tell you, but it's going to be a hundred dollars an hour. And I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I've never spent that much just for to have a conversation with somebody, but it was the best money you know, some of the best monies I've ever spent in my life. So, um, I took a risk and it paid off a hundred thousand million times more than what I spent. So, um, don't be afraid to take a risk on something, right? I, I took a $200 risk and it, and it paid off. Um, and so I think taking risk, you know, obviously calculated risk. I had a wife and one kid at the time when I first started. So my risk had to be very, very calculated. Um, but don't be afraid to take a risk. If you can take, I would say take as much risk as you can comfortably. Um, that's what I would recommend anybody. If you don't have, you know, wife and kids and you can literally just blow a couple thousand, just starting a business, then do it. But again, make, don't just do it. Say, I hope it comes back, but research, right? If you have a family, right? Like I did, um, again, just getting as much free help and you have the internet and videos like this and stuff like that. But getting as much free help as possible um, so that you can start it. Um, I love to help people with starting businesses and uh, with just thinking through ideas, giving them feedback. Uh, my wife is actually starting some really, really cool stuff, a YouTube channel called um, Live Your, uh, no, Life Giving Joy. <laughs> it's called Life Giving Joy. It's really awesome. And we, we're having some really good conversations about business. But um, yeah, hit me up in the comments, DM me. Um, I'm always down to talk to people about that stuff. I really, really love it. So I hope this has helped out in some way uh, with starting a business. It's not a typical do this, then do this, then do this. I'm kind of giving more mindset kind of things and what my mindset was. And there'll be more stuff uh, about this to come. So uh, please like this video, subscribe, share. Uh, this channel is all about spiritual fitness, physical fitness, emotional fitness, emotional intelligence, right? And just, uh, you know, how to live your best life in all of those areas. So I have a lot of really cool videos uh, on those things. Check them out. I'm a little bit unorthodox kind of dude. But uh, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, love you guys. Good luck to y'all. Peace.